Hi guys, this is Chelsea from Bookie Book Book. Welcome. Um, today we're going to be doing a review of the Maxwell Rye, The Angel Experiment by James Patterson. Um, before I get on to that, I just want to say a big, big thank you to anyone who subscribed to me. I looked at it, like how many subscribers I had and um, noticed I, I was on 49. I was a bit like, damn, one way away from 50, but then I was like, 49? That's actually incredible that, like, 49 of you would subscribe to me is amazing. And I know I'm a bit of a rubbish person to subscribe to because I'm rubbish at, like, answering comments and stuff. But, and I'm a bit unreliable with book <coughs> updates, but I'm trying to get on that a bit more with the filming thing. But, like, a massive thank you. I cannot thank you enough for subscribing to me and like people just viewing my videos is incredible um yeah so thank you thank you thank you just no words i didn't expect it at all for anyone to ever watch my videos and i'm not gonna like like the more people that subscribe to me the more i do carry on doing videos because when i first started and i first put my first video up my first couple, because I did like a couple all in one go, I was like, oh god, like, no one's going to view them, I'll just take it down, I'll just delete it all, and then like, someone subscribed to me, and I was like, oh, well, alright, I'll carry on, and then as more people subscribe to me, I get more, you know, I'm like, oh god, people are watching me, that's amazing, like, oh my god, it's unbelievable, so, but yeah, thank you so much, um, on to this book, which was fantastic, actually, um, yep, yeah, it's the first in the series. I'm going to, hopefully when I get all the books done in this month in my TBR, I'm going to start on the second book because I cannot literally wait. It was, oh, fantastic. I'll read you the back. It says, um, do not put this book down. I'm dead serious. Your life could depend on it. I'm risking everything by telling you, but you need to know, Max. Her full name is Maxwin Ride. And the girl can fly. Max's missions protect the rest of her gang, Fang, Iggy, Nudge, and the gas man and Angel from a pack of half wolf, half humans with a taste for flying humans. Rescue Angel from a crew of whack job kidnappers, infiltrate a secret facility to track down her friend's missing parents, figure out what she really thinks about Fang, get revenge on the one person she thought she could trust, discover her the best chocolate chip cookie in New York City saved the whole world for crying out loud. Not, not, set, not necessarily in that order, of course. Pre prepare for launch. These pages fly. Right? And, oh, it was so good. It was so much more, because I've had these, I've got, um, like, a box set, the first three. And I've had these on my shelf for, like, oh, probably since about October. And, they were just amazing, this was amazing, this was so much better than what I ever thought. It was so action-packed, like, from, right from the get-go. There was no, like, introduction, it was straight in. And, like, oh, and you, like, loved the characters, like, I loved the fact that you got to know, like, each one of the flock, which is, like, the group of, like, the flying kids. And it's just amazing. Um, I should probably tell you sort of what it's about. Well, that's sort of the back really tells you what it's about. But basically, the main ha characters are Max, as you can tell by the maximum rind. Um, and they are sort of, and they're sort of this flock of. Is it six? Yeah, six. Oh, counting, not my strong point. Um, this group of six kids, and they've all been genetically altered by this place called the school which are like these um group of crazy ass scientists that are like genetically engineering kids into these crazy things and then these like six escaped and then like one of them gets kidnapped i'm not doing any spoilers this is all what's said on the back pretty much and then one and then angel the youngest gets kidnapped and they have to go rescue her and you know, craziness and action and shoes, and they're followed by the erasers, which are these like other like genetic 
genetically engineered kids that um, are like in real life only like seven, but they're like full grown men, wolf things. And they are just, oh, oh, I loved it. I really, really got into it as well. And I, oh, I get, no, I really, I, I would give this probably, no, I would give it five out of five because I really did fall in love with it. And I love James Patterson writing style is amazing. Um, I've actually read some of his adult books. He writes a lot of like murder mystery books and stuff. And they're awesome if you're like into that genre as well. Um, and his writing style is really nice. If he's got so oh, wow, it's just like a real professional writing style. You can tell he's written like a lot of books, and like the flow is really nice. And like I said in my my April to be read pile, like I love the fact the chapters are so short. Like it's like. I think oh, because they're so short, there's like a ridiculous amount of chapters in this book. 134 chapters. But I, I like, I find that really good. And it sort of wants you to, makes you read on more. Because you're just like, oh, I'm at the end of the chapter. Oh, I want to know what's in the next chapter. And, oh, it's just, I'm so excited to read the next ones. I really, really recommend these books. Um, yes. This was a full on ranty rave review there. I don't mean there's anything I can really think of that is wrong with the book. I love the plot. I love the fact for like in further series there's um like a chance for oh, I loved like the big surprise that comes near the end about Max. I love oh And you know, there's so much stuff that's like going on that you just want to know about in like the next book. Like so many ends left unanswered and you're just like, oh. So anyway, Max and Ride by James Patterson, The Angel Experiment, the first book in like, I think there's like seven books. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Bit of finger counting there. Um, yeah, there's about seven books in the first one. If they're all like this, I'm going to rip through this series so quickly. Oh, so much better than I thought it was going to be. Five out of five. Yay. Go. Go, team. Maximum ride. I was trying to think of like better team. I was going to say the flock. Go, team flock. Um. Anyway. That was very rambly, wasn't it? And very rave reviewy. Um, I mean, quite good mood. I think that also helped. Um, what else was I going to say? Oh, I'm now reading um, *Trial by Fire*, the second book in the *Raised by Wolves* series by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. I'm literally I can't really say anything about it at the moment. I'm literally on like the third page. Uh, I read a couple pages and fell asleep last night, but um because I finished this yesterday but yeah this was this I, I can't wait to get into this because I love the first book and just reading the first couple pages are like refreshing because I've not I read Rigs by Wolves a couple months ago and it's, it's nice when you flip down the book and you read the second one and you're like yes and you know you read the first couple pages refreshing yourself with the story and you're like oh god yeah I forgot about this and it's like oh I forgot how good this series was Anyway, uh, I'm really looking forward to that. that. That will probably, probably be my next, um, I always forget about, there's such glare on my glasses. Um, probably might be my next, um, video because I, I said, um, that my next video would probably be a haul. But it turns out the books I order have got lost, so they're having to resend them. So I'm just like, why? This never happens. I order books all the time, and this never has happened. So now they're not coming till they think next Wednesday, which means my March haul is going to be well into the way of April. 
but yeah, so I don't know, whenever they get here, I will do that haul. I just, I'm gonna be so happy. I, I'll probably like film it straight away because I will probably be so happy when they get here. Anyway, this this video has gone on for ridiculously long for a review video. Um, so this was Bookie Book Book. Um, yeah. Peace out.